गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर टेन लाइट रिफ्लेक्शन एंड रिफ्लेक्शन इन दिस असाइनमेंट नंबर ट्वेंटी टू वी विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट अ बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट दिस चैप्टर बट बिफोर गोइंग टू थ्रू दिस चैप्टर वी विल फर्स्ट रिकेप्चुलेट वट वी हैव स्टडीड in class 8th chapter number 16 light we all know that light help us to see things and light creates the sensation of vision the light ray which strikes any surface are known as incident rays and the rays which come back from the surface after striking are known as reflected rays the reflection from a smooth surface is known as regular reflection and that reflection from a irregular surface is known as diffused reflection if any two mirrors are placed at an angle with each other then multiple images can be obtained of an object now coming to today's topic our topic has three new terms ray of light beam of light and reflection first ray of light a single ray a single line of light which is emitting from a source of light beam of light multiple rays emitting from a source of light these multiple rays combine together to form a beam of light third one is reflection the bouncing back of light after striking a reflecting surface is known as reflection of light 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 is a form of electromagnetic energy that causes sensation of vision optics is a branch of physics which deals with the study of light now nature of light particle nature of light and wave nature of light that is the wave is consi- consist of particles and wave nature of light says that wave travels like waves first of all particle nature of light according to newton light travels in space with great speed as a stream of very small particles car called corpuscles these corpuscles travel back to back that means light travels in a straight line now wave nature of light light waves are electromagnetic waves so there is no need of medium for the propagation of light waves they can travel in vacuum and the speed of these waves in air or vacuum is maximum that is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second sources of light a body which emit light in all directions is said to be a source of light the source can be a point one or an extended one the source of light are of two types luminous source and non luminous source luminous source an object which by itself emits light is called a luminous source example sun stars etc non luminous source those objects which do not emit light but become visible only when light from luminous objects fall on them that is they reflect the light of luminous sources these are called non luminous sources example moon planets a wood table chair etc medium of light 
substances through which light can propagate or tends to propagate is called medium of light. A transparent object, body that allows light to pass through them completely, that is, transmit light through them, are called transparent objects such as glass, water, air. Translucent objects, bodies that can transmit only a part of light through them are called translucent objects. Example, grounded glass, greased or butter paper, paraffin, wax. Opaque objects, bodies that do not allow light to pass through them are said to be opaque. Example, chair, desk, wall, etc. Now reflection of light. When a beam of light falls on a surface, a part of it is sent back into the same medium from which it is coming. This phenomena is known as reflection of light, that is the bouncing back of light in the same medium. The ray of light which falls on the mirror surface is called incident ray. The ray of light which is sent back of the mirror is called reflected ray. The normal is the line which is right angle to the mirror surface and is at the point of incidence where incident ray is coming and from which point reflected ray is reflected back into the same medium that is known as point of incidence and a line which is 90 degree to this point of incidence 90 degree to the plane mirror is known as normal normal is an imaginary line the angle between incident ray and normal is known as angle of incidence and the angle between reflected ray and normal is known as angle of reflection now coming to assessment what we have studied today i hope you all can answer these questions first question is define the following terms incident ray reflected ray and optics a ray which is falling on a surface is known as incident ray a ray which is reflected back after reflection is known as reflected ray and the study of light is known as optics explain the particle nature of light third question is what do you understand by reflection of light yes the bouncing back of light into the same medium is known as reflection of light fourth question differentiate between luminous and non-luminous objects and the fifth question is draw a neat diagram showing reflection of light also label it that which is incident ray where is normal what is incident point and reflected rays Coming to the summary of today's topic, light is a form of electromagnetic energy that causes sensation of vision. Optics is the branch of physics which deals with the study of light. When a beam of light falls on any surface, a part of it is sent back into the same medium from which it is coming. This phenomena is known as a reflection of light. The ray of light which falls on mirror surface is called incident ray and the ray of light which is sent back to the mirror is called reflected ray. Now in the last, there is homework for you. You have to solve assignment number 22. Thank you.